Hi, this is uh, going to be an instructional video for how to do a surface mount uh, rework for a charging port on a, on a foam board. Um, just to go over the stuff that you're going to need real quick. Um, you're going to need your rework, uh, your hot air re rework station. Um, one that we're using is an Xtronic 4000 series. And the setting is going to be about 400 degrees Celsius. It may be a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on the thickness of the board that you're using. You're going to need your helping hands um, or something similar to it. We use these. Um, this is actually going to be to hold the board um, while you're working on it. And you're going to need solder paste um, as well as uh, some copper braid. We're going to use that to get the solder off of the board. Um, the picture on here has listed the particular width for this that works best. And again, the width of this is going to depend on the phone you're working on, but this works for most devices. So. Okay, you're going to start by heating up the board of the phone. You can do two different ways from the top or the bottom. Uh, we're doing it from the bottom here because as you can see there's some plastic exposed in the charging port. We don't want to uh, damage the charging port itself. Um, so we're going to be using the same charging port to do this repair. And once it's heated up, it'll easily come off the board without damaging anything. For the next portion here, um, you can kind of see towards the bottom, but we're actually going to be heating from the top of the board, so we put on some caps and tape to protect the different components on the top of the board. But you're going to heat it up, and you can generally tell the solder's melted whenever it gets kind of shiny. And we're going to use that copper braid, a strip that we've uh, peeled off, to go ahead and go through the through holes of the board to get all the solder off. And then here in a second, we're also going to get the rest of the solder off the top of the board. Um, sometimes if, the, uh, if it doesn't go in straight, it's kind of like threading a needle. And if the copper braid gets frayed at the end, you're going to have to straighten that out or maybe cut off the tip or possibly cut off a new piece in order, to, um, in order for it to be able to go through those holes. And you're going to do this for all three holes. You can kind of see um, in some spots the hot air gun that is uh, at the top of the board there. Now one thing you want to be aware of, uh, your sense of spell can really help you out here. If the temperature is too high, you'll generally start to smell that the board is starting to get charred a little bit. And if this is the case, or sometimes there's something else nearby, maybe some plastic that may be melting. If this is the case, you want to go ahead and uh, lower your setting before you actually damage the board. And you just do this for all four points. And then the technique that we use, we hold the copper braid with a pair of pliers. And um, after we get done with those uh, four holes, we'll then just wrap it around the pliers and uh, we're using some flux paste to kind of help it suck up that solder and then we'll go ahead and go over the pins and uh, with the pliers and go ahead and suck it up into the braid and you'll see that here in just a second. So as you can see we've got all four of those holes and right here um, it's kind of fast and hard to see but right here is where we're just going back and forth sucking that up and um, if you're having trouble getting it to go up into the copper braid, it may be because it's full of solder from the other points. You may need to get a new piece, or you just may need to cover it in some flux. Um, some flux. We have a flux pen that we use for that, and then it should come right up. And you can see here that all those points now are clean of any excess solder um, that may be bubbling up. Okay, right here is where we're taking the solder paste and we're applying that to the different points. Um, you can put as much as you want without it being super excessive on all of the um, through holes and then the two at the top that you see there. But the five that we just now put it on, the pins, this is it's important not to put too much on there because if you do it's going to bridge the connection between those pins and you right now it, w right now it is, but whenever we heat it up it's actually going to flow where it needs to. But if you have a bridging on the, on the pins there, um, it's actually not going to, it's not going to work, it's not going to be effective because you need each pin on the charging port is going to connect to one of those five pins and if they're touching each other then it's going to interfere with that connection. So right now we're putting the charging port on there and we're just laying it right right on there. It sits on there nice and flat because we got rid of all the solder earlier. And then we're going to heat it up again from the bottom and it's going to melt all the solder and you'll see here in just a second. And, um, and it'll pretty much sink down in there without you even having to touch the charging port. And right now you can kind of see it uh, all beginning to melt. And this is all real time, this isn't slowed down or anything, so what you're seeing is what it's actually going to look like when you're performing the repair. And uh, as you can see right here, whenever it kind of sinks down, there actually was a little bit too much solder there on those left three pins, 
and it did bridge that connection so we're gonna fix that in a minute and we'll show you how to do that as well and that's gonna be using the copper braid also um, you can kinda tell whenever it uh, whenever it solidifies there it kinda gets dull and then it gets shiny whenever it comes so right here is just kinda trying to move that over we're using the exacto knife just to try to gently move that over and it wasn't doing it so uh, we're gonna use the copper braid and remove the excess solder there so that uh, you can see that the pins on the right the two pins on the right um, look good that's how they should look and then the three on the left are actually the connection there is bridged and that needs to be fixed before the device will charge so right here is where we've got our braid and we had to put some flux on there to make it suck up into the braid but as you can see uh, whenever you put it on there it, it just it sucks right up into it and then you've got your five pins the way it should look and then we uh, just use some of the sharp point and exacto knife to kind of press it down on the charging port to make sure it was completely flush against the board and then it dries up and that's it and 